Got a question from John. What a lovely name. Over the years, I've always struggled weighted squats, mostly the barbell back squat. The struggle and imbalance was so bad, I could barbell overhead press more weight than I could back squat. I assume some of this was mental, but I'm pretty sure there were some physical limitations that contributed to these struggles. I'm six foot four with longer legs, and there you go. So I assume my build somewhat causes the imbalance. I would say there's some truth to that, um, and I'll, I'll comment more in just a moment. My question is, should I lean into my strengths and continue to focus hinge deadlift and presses for strength and resign myself to the fact I'll never be able to squat for weight? Or should I focus more on my weakness squatting? So there can be two points here. First off, and I just mentioned it, for those of you listening straight through on the podcast, it's a repeat, but we do make those short. So here we go. In Easy Strength Omni Book, I summarize this idea of the the push and the pull, and then there's a squat and, and the hinge, and then I made a little quadrant of that, and I am your classic push hinger, just like you are, actually. I mean, you and I are, you know, John, well, it's funny, that's the same name, so that's why, that's my, my last name is your first name. So for me, uh, if I'm getting ready for a Highland game or a track meet, a discus throw, uh, I'm going to push and I'm going to hinge. I'm going to snatch and clean and deadlift. I'm going to incline. I'm going to military. I'm going to get as strong as I can. And I'm going to squat and do pulls as appropriate to keep myself healthy. After the meet, I'm going to start working on those things. It's funny. We have that one workout on one thing here at the gym. Uh, Mike Warren Brown takes me through it. And basically it's about a half hour of pure pulling. Uh, it's TYIs, it's rows, it's single arm rows, it's, you know, just stuff, a whole variety of pull movements. And that's to, that's to kind of build up my weakness, which is the pull. And I squat every single day now, either goblet squat, front squat, overhead squat, because that's my weakness. So I want you to think about that from Easy Strength Omni Book. But the other thing I want you to think about is this. It's a phrase I've used. I wish I could remember who told me this, because I'd give them a high five and a thank you, but you compete with your strengths, but you work on your weaknesses. And I've sort of said that already, but if if making the discus throw go the discus go far, basically we know you need a basically a 250 pound snatch, 300 clean, 450 squat, 400 bench, not big numbers. So. If, if you come to me and you can do 50 pull-ups, and let's, you're, you're six foot four, you're 240, you can do 50 pull-ups, but you can only snatch 135. That's great, I'm impressed with your pull-ups. I mean, no question about that. But we have got to get that hinge up. We've got to get your weakness, the hinge up, until you're at international levels of strength, because that's my job. So. When, if, but as you're getting, <laughs> but if you're going to compete and uh, there are times we just got to say, hey man, this is your gift. Let's go with it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I think I th there are discus techniques that would help, a, I think, a puller a little bit more. Um, you know, my friend John Powell, who basically uh, revamped the linear technique, uh, the late, great John Powell, he was a master at pull-ups. I made the mistake of getting a pull-up contest with him one time, and I got destroyed. And uh, but when it came to the Olympic lifts, you know, I was I was much better. So when John competed with me, we did pull-ups. When it came to snatches and cleaning jerks, he didn't want to play. I love you, John, and I see I see why you did that now. So I would say, and and you'd be very much like it. I would say press and hinge. And then find variations of the squat. Obviously, you don't like back squats. Belt squats might be an option. Goblet squats might be an option. Uh, overhead squats will be, look interesting with a six foot four person who's not very good at squatting and front squats. But honestly, you know, as I'm spitting out this idea here, if you can put together a belt squat uh, system for your home gym or the gym you're at, that might be far better answer. Because you can go fairly heavy on them and your height um, won't be such an issue because of the levers. Okay. Hey, 
Fun question and thank you.